Cornelius Gideon from the Sir Arthur Lewis College's engineering faculty revealed that a few years ago, the OECS approached the school with a bold task, convert a regular bus from fossil fuel to full electric power. With OECS funding, the team successfully pulled it off in a little over a year, and the college now proudly operates its own fully electric bus. We had six, six um, students together with two lecturers in the engineering department. Um, it took us a little um, over a year, um, given that the, the classes are not every day. The, the, the time alloc allocated for the, the, the project was pretty much 18 months. So we did manage to complete it um, within a, a span of let's say, 12, 12 months. Students were involved in every step, from planning to hands-on work, and the bus has already been tested on drives around the island. It now serves as living proof that switching to electric mobility isn't just a concept. It works in real life and offers clear advantages for anyone entering the field. We normally use the bus um, to showcase um, our talent at the college, letting persons know that the conversion can be done. It has been done and it has been tested as well. We've actually taken the bus on around the island and I, and I must say it did perform well. Um, with our, all the lecturers on there, so we're talking about 15 lecturers on the bus. Um, we went around the island, we went into Salty Bus, we came back out. And surprisingly, the bus came back um, on 40% charge. So we left at less 85% charge and we came back with 40% charge. Which means that um, persons who venture into uh, the electric um, mobility, yeah, you stand a very good chance at, at gaining all the benefits that it poses in, in that in industry. That to support the project, Jade Hutchinson of NOAA Energy noted that a new charging port was installed on campus, funded by the German federal government through the EV project. This project was there to help the A-level charge a bus that they retrofitted from gasoline to electric. With the bus running and the right infrastructure in place, the college is pushing ahead with training for the next wave of technicians. New courses in electric and hybrid technology, both online and in person, are being prepared, giving current workers a chance to upgrade their skills. Students leaving Sir Arthur Lewis College will walk away with real knowledge of how electric vehicles operate and how to repair them, putting them on a strong footing for the future of transportation. Shane Stephen, NBC Prime.